Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second video in 2024 and before implementing any things, in this video I want to talk about how to get started with large language models because 2024 is going to be the year for LLMs. Again, same as 2023, but it was just the beginning in 2023 instead of quickly jumping into implementing things i just want to provide you some resources just to be clear this is not the roadmap uh, videos by the end of this video you will get the links to different resources from which uh, you can get started with a large language models let's get started okay this is the github repository and i am planning to update this repository as i proceed so you can bookmark this or you can give a star whatever you want to do let's go through step by step just to be clear again this is not a road map for getting started with llms i'm not covering the books you should study i'm not covering also the university studies or certificates or something like that that's up to you and I assume you have the basic understanding of NLP, natural language processing stops because it falls on that field. And the programming knowledge is mainly Python and maths. I have written also here just for you to get into it. You might argue, okay, why do I need maths, right? Behind the scene, whatever happens in the LLMs is not all maths but almost everything is maths right you need to know what is calculus what is probability how the linear algebra things works and you need to know let's say on a higher level what is matrix and how the dot product works and something like that for maths and python things i hope you will find good resources online just go through that what i hope you know some of the things related to that after knowing the basics and how things work it's upon you what to do and one really really important thing for you here is remember that using llms and implementing are two different things you need not necessarily know how to implement but you need to know how to use it in the right way let's say you are using some software it's not necessary that you need to know how to make that software you need to know how to use it right this is the same in llms also in LL because just to be clear Let's say that if everyone builds, uh, wants to beat LLMs, does it make sense, right? It's not necessary just to jump into something if that is trending or something. I have seen many people saying, okay, this is the generative AI era. All of us need to know how to implement things. That's not the case, right? You need to know how to use it. That is more important than implementing it, right? To implement, if you know things it's it's better but main thing is how to use the things but mainly now in this video i'm i'm hoping that you are trying to implement something because you need to know the resources which i will be explaining or providing you right first thing first as i said you you need to know some of the basic things already with python maths and nlp things and what i want you to get started with the hackers guide to language models this is from jeremy howard right as you can see here this is the video from jeremy howard and it is around one and a half hours video just go through this and the next one which i would recommend is let me see which one is the next one let me make this bigger how to make this bigger okay this one there is one hour talk uh, from andre karpati as well as there is also the neural networks zero to hero from him this is just the video i want you to go through because as you can see here it is posted like one month before in 1.2 million views it explains what is uh, llm things in in general and it's a really 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 great video i would highly suggest you to go and then also the neural networks from zero to hero from the same person andres karpati you can go through that Let's say that you completed these two videos, write some notes when you go through. Don't skip the videos because I have seen that many people just skip the videos and jumping different between different videos. If you are one of those, then good luck with that. But if you want to know exactly how LLM things work, now after going through these three, uh, let's say on three videos on a high level, but this is the playlist, I would suggest you to go to this fast.ai courses. So this is from... Uh, Jeremy Howard and team there is practical deep learning for coders things if you go inside this 
you can see there are different getting started deployment there is part one and part two in part one there are these things in part two there is all the different things that you need to know and also there is a video associated with it. for example let's say that you want to go with these auto encoders it will explain what is auto encoders and things and there is a video for this particular lesson and you can just go into the notebooks in in github or in google collab also they have provided different notebooks just to try for you just go through this if you go through this when i was uh, doing my master's studies this was the main course which i took because this explains with pytorch and and the nlp things you will have a solid understanding of how things work in nlp if you go through these courses good luck with that and the next one which i will highly recommend now is after going through all the other things because nlp was there since many years but llm things was also there from many years but then it gets hyped last year i would highly recommend to go through all the different courses here as you can see there are different things building llm apps with langchain.js chat gpt prompt engineering building systems with chat gpt ai langchain for llm and langchain chat with your data and there are different things here as you can see and i at least if you want to get into this field i suggest you to go and take these videos watch these videos because when you go through this it's not just videos there is a side by side notebook also where you can uh, practice yourself if you go through these short videos i am confident that you can excel in this but what more if you want to go more then there is also the specializations from deep learning here are the different courses you can go with ai for everyone generative ai for everyone ai for good machine learning specialization i would highly recommend you to go through this if you want right so as i have written here also optional but highly recommended the fast ai courses deep learning my request try to complete all these free short courses right okay let's say now you completed all of this now the next thing is the prompt engineering that's what everybody is talking about right good prompt good result same as what we used to say garbage in garbage out meaning that in the deep learning if you provide bad data bad result will be there same as that if you have bad prompt you will get bad answers if you have good prompts you will get good answers for that also there is this prompt engineering guide which is really good resources for you to go through and understand about what is prompt engineering and there is also the github page you can go through there and then just get understanding of how things works right and the next thing is also that open ai doc about prompt engineering open ai has really 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 good documentation but people don't mainly talk about it because people mainly use frameworks stuffs that's how we things are working right now but then there is also the prompt engineering things from open ai documentations there is one from deep learning.ai free short course also about chat gpt prompt engineering which i showed you before in this deep learning ai short courses go through that they explain how how to do the prompt engineering things and because this prompt engineering is the open topic uh, right because you can just go through online and find different resources articles uh, videos courses and it needs constant learning and experimenting so these are just the things that i i put here so that you get started with it now next thing is about the frameworks right i don't want to provide you many frameworks which i haven't uh, tested myself or i haven't explored myself until now i have explored langchain and llama index and i have also created two different videos where i have explained how you can get started with um, with this meaning that i have explored the ui and what are the different things that you can get started all you need to know about langchain as well as all you need to know about llama index go through these resources and as i said you you can explore as many things as you want but this is how you can get started and now there is google microsoft aws all trying to be in this race and they have their own courses uh, you can just go there and pick the courses that you want i'm not providing you the specific links because uh, if you go with the specific ones and you need to use the models uh, provided by them i i don't want to get specific into those things and then also as i said you before also open ai has really good documentation as well as the cookbook if i go to the cookbook i already showed you the documentation but if i go to the cookbook as you can see here 
there are different things people have provided, right? So let's say the how to format inputs to chat GPT models. If you go inside this, yeah, it shows all the different things here, how to do things and other stuffs. And if you want to go to the GitHub, of course, contribute to this. You can contribute also to this one. Yeah, this is, as you can see here, this 53K stars, meaning that it is good. Otherwise, people will not give these stars, right? You can just go here and see all the different examples, articles and all the different things mentioned here so that is what you get into it right and then there is the youtube which is a free university from where you can get all the knowledge for free there is unlimited knowledge uh, you can grasp try to find the best ones and follow them instead of jumping among the videos based on my my one year in YouTube and based on the statistics that I have in my personal channel I see that people just jump in between different videos and that's the reason why many people just make the really cool intro videos so that people get stick into the videos but you need to find good channels and then follow all the videos into in videos that is what I would suggest but it's up to you and that's how things works right you need to find your way of understanding things or learning things main thing is to understand the things and try yourself unless you try practice yourself you won't learn right just jumping between the videos will not help you you need to go through the things try it yourself yeah that's what you can do i have also videos in llms with playlist on language and chain lead llama index many llms videos will follow in 2024 but if you want to go through the playlist that i have already created you can go through the langchain playlist and llama index playlist also here now let's say that you learned all the different things as i said you this is not the roadmap you can take your own time and learn things here right and and it's not necessary that you need to go from all the way up to the bottom you can just go through any of this way in in your in your time it's not on the high level okay you need to learn this and then you need to go to the next one just go through these resources and then the last one is main thing i want to highlight practice practice and practice take help with ai assistance because you need to practice for that you can take the help of llms itself right ai assistance perplexity ai this is the best one i would suggest let's put this way it's a google source with llms with it i have already created videos also how to use llm perplexity it's just go there and ask questions they also have the uh, uh, pro version or subscriptions uh, where you can have like in chat gpt and you can even use the api from there also and there is chat gpt i hope you already know about it and based on your need free and the paid versions similar to perplexity also and there is team enterprise and many things e evolved in chat gpt also and there is the bing chat and big enterprise and i want to highlight a main thing here because if you are using it personally or for your company just be careful into that. If you are just searching your personal things, you can use whatever you want to do. But if you are using for your company, let's say you work in a company and you want to do some search based on the uh, things that you do in a company, be careful to where you are asking the questions. For example, in many companies, there is Bing Chat Enterprise where the data is just stored inside your company premise, let's say in that way. And there is also the ChatGPT Enterprise that's the same thing like being chat enterprise where you can ask the questions where the data is not leaked outside right you need to be really really careful on asking the questions i hope you have read the news where uh, code has been leaked outside of a big company and this page will be updated over time i hope now you get the idea from where to get started just try things if you don't know what is Langchain also, you can just go through these short courses and then run the code which they have provided because that's how you learn. You don't, you don't need to learn all the things and then just go and write code. Yeah, that's all I want to explain you in this video. I hope now you get the idea how to get started into LRMs. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.